Hello and welcome to another day in paradise and welcome to another ad hoc edition of the unapologetic Negropian. Now, I've literally just finished that Zoom meeting with Quasi Boyd and whilst it's all fresh in my mind, I kind of wanted to get this down and get some feedback from you. I wanted to give you my feedback because you've probably already given me your feedback on the video um, in the in the list in the conversation so I just wanted to let you know how I felt how it went and I I, I think with Quasi Boyd Quasi Boyd's a very intelligent man he comes across as very intelligent the things that he's done um, the, the 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 companies that he's built uh, regardless of whether they are legal, totally legal, totally above board or not. It takes a level of uh, intelligence and sophistication to construct something like that. It takes even more intelligence and sophistication to do it in a different country than the one that you, you originate from. So I knew when I was coming in, I was going to ask him questions. I knew I was going to speak to someone who is um, very sharp-minded. However, I knew that he was going to be defensive and deflective with the questions that I asked. <clears throat> and if you watched the, uh, the meeting, you would see that there were a lot of questions that were still unasked. Even though I asked the questions once, twice, sometimes three times I would ask questions and somehow he would, f he would find a way of not answering it. Um, one question he, he did ask, uh, I did ask was the board members. Because the way he's talking, he's talking in... in, in not exactly in legalese, but he's talking in a way in which we would talk if we were here in the West. And sometimes I think we get confused ourselves. We, I spoke to him and I asked him about the LLC and the board members and um, where the board members' public information would be available. Because in every company here in the West... The board members, the, 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 there's a list of board members that's freely available to anyone. Public information, okay? <clears throat> now, he's told me that if things work differently in the Gambia, which, of course, is definitely the case, they still have British law, but he said that um, the, it's not official. Or something like that, right? He said that it wasn't an official uh, board mem board members. It was just a group of people who had come together. He said there were 20 people. And I remember from the last um, interview that he did with um, Go Black to Africa, he first, Go Black to Africa asked him how many people were working for him. And he said 20 people. So there's 20 people on the board members. There's 20 board members and there's 20 people working for him. So, um, it, yeah, you, you, it's obvious that things aren't, of course, completely above board when we're looking at it from a Western uh, point of view. Um, now, I also knew that he would try to simply get his his own point across, and um, which was okay, to be honest with you. I wanted him to tell uh, his story. Um, I wanted to go deeper into it. I think it was really important, but um, I can see that he he knows what he's doing. Whenever he was asked a question, he would answer the question very, very shallow and then just go deep into something else. S things that I w didn't ask about. He would give me information that I didn't ask about. 
So I had to I had to make sure that I stayed on track and I had to make sure that I continued to ask the questions after they were asked the first time, the second time, uh, until I got an answer. Um, you know, he's... He's a, 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 a very um, a, a articulate guy. He, he just is. And, um, I can see why people are drawn to him. He has the leader, the, the, the natural leadership skills. And um, in England, we would say he has the gift of the gab. So he could sell snow to a snowman. But at the end of the day, the, I'm going to tell you what the, the, the biggest things that I take away from this meeting, okay? So, the biggest things that I took away from it was uh, his company isn't official. But if he's got an LLC, he must, it must be in his name or it must be in his partner's name. You can't have an LLC and then have board members who aren't officially board members. They're just really people that have invested, probably other investors who have invested, or if they're Gambian, they probably haven't even invested their own money. They've just invested their time. So that's where we are at with, with that one thing. Phoenix said that those employees, this is one thing I did want to ask him, but I never got around to asking him. Phoenix said that his employees are not paid. They do get paid, but it's a very minuscule amount. Um, barely enough to survive on. Now, <clears throat> of course, it's word for word. We don't know how much they are getting paid specifically because I never got around to asking him this. But... In my point of view, when you have people working for you, you want them to constantly be in debt with you, so they feel indebted to you. So it's almost as if you, you have workers around you and you're giving them something, you're giving them a, a lifestyle you know, where they don't have to, you know, graft hard every single day um, to earn similar amounts of money. So I think he's definitely used the valour of his own tongue to, um, to, um, to take control of his workers. Now, like I said, Phoenix said that he is um, he's not paying his, his employees the right amount in the right way. She had eyes on contact with the numbers. Um, but of course, because there's a lot of fighting between these two, we, we won't know who's telling the truth it's going to be very difficult to find out who's telling the truth, even with this independent audit. I tried to ask him where this um, audit... The, he said the audit information will be public, publicly available. I tried to ask him where, and once again, he didn't come out with a clear answer. So... Um, <clears throat> Where, what else did I ask him? Yeah, in the beginning he said that he is... Um, he said that they have their own auditors. Well, well, how can you have your own auditors? So I had to push him on that one. I asked him, well... If it's your auditors, then they're not independent, are they? And then, of course, he, he sort of washed it in his own little way afterwards. So, 
I would like to take a look at this audit afterwards. Um, he said it's going to take a few days for the audit to complete. He did say that. However, he also said that there isn't much cash, there isn't much to audit. So I don't understand why it's taking so long or why they'd be doing it over the weekend. Pretty weird. Um, I know it's a Muslim country. So why would you do it on a Friday? I, I don't know. I'm asking these questions myself. Uh, I should have I should have put them to to Kwesi, but I didn't really want to push him away. And I think in the end, once I started to pressure him a little bit, he felt uncomfortable with the direction I was going. I just wanted facts. This is what I was asking for for facts and. Um, let's face it he was unable to give me any hardcore facts and once again we can't just take his word for it so these are the things we need to look out for the independent the, the independent audit not from any company that he knows an independent audit so we need to find out whether the auditors are, were independent from him because if if this audit is just done by his accountant it's not worth the paper it's written on Right? Crazy, could you just give him a, a few hundred dollars and then boom. Yeah, here's your audit. So, uh, I mean, once again, I don't want to start making rumours, but it needs to be independently verified. It cannot be anybody that Crazy knows or the organisation, that anyone who has any dealings with the organisation. Um, <clears throat> yeah, uh, I mean... I'm going to go over these questions again. Give me a second. I asked him about the refund policy. There isn't one. I'm sorry, guys. There isn't a refund policy. You invest your money. And he didn't say it out loud, but essentially your money has been spent. So, I don't have much hope for the investors who have invested their money, I don't have much, hold out much hope in those investors getting their money back, unfortunately. What else? Um, one of my, um, one of the people who watches me, they said, now that the audit is done, can you now account for the money, for where the money has been spent? And will you be making that information public? Yeah, so, like I said, we need to make sure we do we do our own due diligence so we can take a look at these numbers ourselves. There's no point in us just taking things at face value now. Um, all these... Um, all this talking you literally you it's not going to give us anything more we need hardcore facts we need paperwork we need we need a not even a government a government official because government officials are corrupt as well right it needs to be independently verified by somebody who has um some stature in the community um, I didn't ask him whether he practiced Islam, but I think he said he did, um, which is another reason why I found it funny that he was doing this audit on a Friday. Um, and he said that he's no longer going to be um, promoting and asking for people to come over, which is probably a good thing. Um, I think after this, there isn't going to be many people that are going to want to take his word for it, which is sad, really. Um, okay, so to finish, I really, really hope that he comes out of this and, and comes clean and everybody's happy. This is where I'm hoping things go and then things can go back to normal. You know, I, I'm sick of it. Trust me, I'm sick of it. There are people who watch this who are going to be sick of it. They're going to be, oh my God, again. I know. But I want you, 
for a moment to think about the people who have given their life savings to this company. I want you to think about how much work you would have to do to, um, to, to earn what Shantae gave to, um, gave, invested to the company. How much work would you have to do? Was it $8,000 she is gone? How much work would you have to do? There are people around the world who don't earn that in two years. It's really sad, but I hope things come through. I hope things come through for everybody. So listen, guys, I'm going to end it there. I really hope that uh, I'm going to keep you guys up to date with what's happening in Banjul. Um, I have another interview tomorrow. I'm not going to tell you who it is yet. Um, but as soon as that has been confirmed, I'm going to let everybody know that what's happening. So, guys... Thank you very much for listening once again. Thank you for tuning in. Thank you to the new subscribers as well. You're very, very well appreciated. Thank you for my, to my old subscribers too. I love you all. Thank you very much. Think twice. Tarara bit. <laughs>